Hey, how's it going? It's Warmind, and we are going to be hunting Night Marshal Styx the Sunderer, and you could find him pretty much anywhere in the Cursed Forest. This is where I'm fighting him in this fight. And so you're going to find Styx in the woods where there's many of Styx, and um, you, you basically want to fight him in an area that you could take cover. As you see, he has multiple abilities that he just flings at you and the best way to fight him is to just go around a rock and definitely take cover. So one of his favorite moves is he likes to attack you from the left and right and so the best way to avoid this is you step back as you see I just use purgatory here and kill there and he likes to do ruin and this part right here you just want to take cover behind the rock. And the reason we're here is for bat form. Oh yeah. Now Styx is a pretty brutal melee attacker and so it's kinda best to just keep your distance and use your chaos volley I feel against him or if you have a reaper weapon or something like that. A crossbow would be pretty effective against him as well. The only thing about the crossbow is you want to switch out to a melee weapon when he summons his minions and he's gonna summon like three gauls and Basically, you just want to take these guys out as fast as you can. As you see, there's a spider that's attacking me too, but the Cursed Force is just full of bad guys, so it's it's kind of best to clear the adds in the area that you're going to fight him in if you have the opportunity to, to just make the fight easier. After about 20 seconds, after summoning the Gauls, he's going to teleport to you and do two side attacks. Oh, that's like... Um, I got lucky there. And as you see, when he does a real win, I just try to take cover behind this rock. That's actually my main purpose of the rock, is to just use it for cover when he's doing his real wins and stuff like that. Um, which, I get in trouble from those as well, from this rock strategy. But I think, overall, it helps me survive better. And for a pop quiz, in case you didn't know, what beats stick? A rock does. So his final phase, the skies can turn different color, and you're gonna see those uh, side attacks coming from every single direction. And you just want to evade him as much as you possibly can. And I, I saw an opportunity to channel him right there, but it actually wasn't beneficial for me at all. Now, when he summons the gauls, you're unable to attack him. So just focus on his little minions and take them down as fast as you can because others you're going to find yourself in trouble and there's the third one and of course the uh, add join the fight very nice and so the abilities i'm rocking in this fight is chaos folly purgatory and crimson beam and i think crimson beam would be good in this fight i just use it the wrong time and if you're having a hard time dodging these, you basically just gotta do some side stepping or sidewalking or some moonwalking or like some box like shapes. Yeah, yeah. And if you found this boss guide helpful or useful, please hit that thumbs up and subscribe. I appreciate it. These side minions definitely will get you in trouble. <laughs> this was not the cleanest fight. And take another hit. Oh. I hear Quat. I must have got him. Yep, he's down. He's down. Now that we've taken down Night Marshal Sticks, let's suck his blood and get the ultimate ability, Bat Form. This this ability is premium, especially in PvP. Mmm, the power of Sticks. Anyhow, have a good one. Stay awesome. Bye.